Hey, what's up guys? It's Eric here and today we got a nice little video for you guys So we're playing some kill confirmed on Sea town and in this gameplay I'm gonna be getting a Moab with the PM9 and I'll be actually giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to get an easy Moab So I know I've done this a few times before but this these new tricks are Actually just awesome and you guys would are gonna love them so the first thing here I'm using the PM9 and I would really really not recommend you guys is using that gun because it sucks um, it's not good from long range it's only good from close range and if you're playing on a map like I um, let me think here like village and you're using a PM9 and you're going for a Moab you're not gonna get it because this gun it won't allow it won't allow you to actually get nice kills from long distance so if you're using a PM9 you should really really play on small maps maybe like dome uh, sea town um, mission and whatever the case may be but don't use the PM9 on big maps so that's the first thing I want to say and usually I wouldn't actually play with a PM9 because it's not good I don't really like the gun but like I said at the beginning I just wanted to show you how easy it is to get a Moab when I will give you guys my tips so right here um, I'm playing very very defensively and that's the first thing you want to do you don't want to go rushing out and trying to get as many kills as quickly as you can because you still have 10 minutes to get a Moab and you don't necessarily need to rush out and get kills and then uh, just reload rush out again and like you're risking of dying every single time you're rushing out so the best thing you should do is you should control an area like I'm doing right now I'm controlling the top area of this building and all my teammates are around me so I just know where the enemies are because if someone dies from let's say a teammate dies to my left I know someone's coming from my left so that's why I stay around my teammates and that's why you should get you guys should do the same thing so the second thing here um, I'm just gonna tell you guys a few perks I was using for this class um, if you guys want to use a PM9 I would really recommend you guys using steady aim because as I said many times in this video already it sucks from long range and what you want to do with a PM9 is you want to hip fire from close range and steady aim is uh, a bonus for that it allows you to uh, hip fire even more effectively than without it so I would really recommend you guys using that and really you only want to aim down sights if the enemy is far enough like right here you see me trying to burst fire this guy but it doesn't work so I back away from the gunfight now I'm not trying to hip fire him from that far away because it obviously won't work so you only want to aim down sights when you're pretty much guaranteed that you're that the enemy is gonna die when they're far away so you want to try and control your engagements and so by that I mean you want to try and be close to, the t to your enemy without them seeing you and then you'll be able to hip fire them. So right here I know I'm camping in this bottom part of the building now and as you can see my teammate, a great friend of mine, he's so awesome, he was running support the whole game and he was actually getting me ballistic vests and UAVs constantly up in the air and as you saw there like a few seconds ago I actually picked up the ballistic vest and then he waited until uh, I finished up uh, getting the ballistic vest because when you do you're vulnerable and you can die easily so he was waiting he was looking around uh, waiting to see if any enemies were coming by and he actually killed someone who was entering the building so uh, I would really recommend you guys and right here the ballistic vest saved my life and so uh, then he, he my teammate comes again and he has another ballistic vest for me so that's just awesome so now the ballistic vest saved my life and thanks to him thanks to my teammate he saved my life basically because he was he was the one who gave me the ballistic vest and I would have died there and wouldn't have my Moab so the best tip guys if you're playing with only one friend because I'm only playing with one friend in this game um, tell them to run support and just alternate each game maybe like let's say you go for a Moab this game and your friend runs support and then you run support and your friends goes for a Moab I mean it's just so fun and you're ha I'm actually having a blast uh, doing this with my friend because because we're just like going we're, we're just having some fun because we're like we're saying like oh go on go on you only need like 10 more kills come on come on I got a ballistic vest for you so it's very entertaining because you're actually helping your teammate getting a Moab 
and I mean it's just awesome when actually a teammate gets a Moab and you actually helped him like with ballistic vests and UAVs and stuff like that so it's very entertaining and I'm having a blast doing that with my friend so that's a great great way to get a Moab if you're even if you're only one friend like I am in this game it'll really really help you out now let's say you're playing um, with a full group of friends and you guys are like nine or six um, if depending if you're playing ground war or normal domination or team deathmatch or whatever the case may be but let's say you guys have six people running no five people running support and then you are the only one going for a moab now you would have like ballistic vests lined up throughout the whole map and you could just replenish yourself of ballistic vests when you'd get hit from an enemy so I mean it would be so easy and right here the sniper bullet was like if I wouldn't have had my ballistic vest there I would have been, I would have been dead and my kill streak would have been gone so uh, thanks to my friend again for the ballistic vest so anyways as I was saying let's say your your five friends are running support for you and they got UAVs up ballistic vests everywhere on the map you're pretty much guaranteed to actually get the Moab and it's so easy especially if you're using a better gun than the PM9 and look at that my friends in final stand right now and he's guarding the the main entrance of this building and he's actually getting some kills but anyways as I was saying I keep getting sidetracked on this commentary because I'm just having a blast doing it I don't know why it's just so entertaining to watch but anyways um so as I said let's say you guys have a full team you guys are just having fun uh, calling out where you've died and uh, where the t enemies are I mean it's just amazing you're gonna get a Moab definitely and especially using an ACR or something like that a better gun than the PM9 you're pretty much guaranteed to get a Moab. Now, right here, um, I, I don't know how I got that guy. I mean, honestly, I just freaked out. And right now, I know it doesn't show you in theater mode, but uh, I was actually checking my score, and I was waiting for my teammate to actually get another ballistic vest. So, the only inconvenience when uh, ballistic vest happened, uh, with the ballistic vest, I mean, is that once you picked it up and you've used it like an enemy shot you and it's gone, you can't actually pick it up once again. So, your teammate has to get another one, which it's not so bad because it's only four kills and it's support. So, if you die, your kill streak keeps on going. But, anyways, um, it's really, really fun to do. And right here, I got the Moab. So I would really recommend you guys uh, using uh, a team and having a fun time because as you saw I got the Moab with little to no trouble and I was only playing with one friend and he was running support and he got me I think three or four ballistic vests and a lot of UAVs. So imagine if you were playing with a full team. I mean that would be just unstoppable you could not die and you would definitely get a moab so that's pretty much it for the gameplay guys I hope you guys enjoyed it and just do me a favor and go try it out go actually try and play with six of your friends tell them to run support and alternate each game and you guys will have a blast getting moabs so that's pretty much it peace out